Day 115 on the Hanamichi. I've decided this week to introduce a word of the week, and this week's word is transformation. Yesterday I was talking about the transformation of human into animal spirit, which is a theme that comes up time and time again in Kabuki. The play I was looking at yesterday was Yasuna, and it involved the transformation of a beautiful young maiden into a silver fox. And today I want to talk about transformation, not just of human into animal spirit, but of costume, costume transformation. I really believe that no other art form in the world comes close to Kabuki when talking about costume transformation. It is on another level. And there is a particular effect used in kabuki called hikinuki which is basically an instant costume change which takes place on stage and right before your eyes it's absolutely bedazzling and i'm going to show you a clip from a play called sagi muzume which is the heron maiden and one of the oldest dances in the kabuki repertoire it was first staged in the fourth lunar month of 1762. The play is essentially a dance transformation. It's set on a frozen pond in the middle of winter and the spirit of the heron appears on a platform dressed in white, solitary and silent. And Much of the dancer's expression and communication is done through these costume changes, which, as I've said, is called hikinuki. The first change turns the dancer into a young maiden in love, dressed in a beautiful red kimono, who dances the joy of love in a lively atmosphere. Her love is unfortunately a short one, and the next section of the dance is no more about happiness but sadness and jealousy. The dance gradually gets darker and the final change brings back the spirit of the heron who frantically dances, depicting the torments of hell and pleading for pity. This is just a very loose summary of the play and I might explore it in more detail another time. But the essence of what I want to talk about today is this hekinuki the instant costume change and it's essentially done with these stage attendants dressed in black called kuroku who are hiding themselves behind the main dancer and their job is to be very much in harmony and in sync with the dancer and at the specific time in alignment with the musicians and the dancer They remove basting thread from the dancer's kimono and intricately manipulate certain parts of the kimono to allow the dancer to have a full costume change in a matter of seconds. And in this particular play, Sagi Muzume, the Heron Maiden, there are several transformations, several costume changes that take place. And I'm going to show you just two of them. And this is just to give you a taste of what I'm trying to describe, which is the hikinuki instant costume change in Kabuki. Thank you. 